Welcome. So what I'd like to do is show you how to graph this quadratic uh, by using vertex form. So you can see that obviously this is in standard form, so we need to convert to vertex form by completing the square. Um, so by going through our kind of step-by-step -step process for completing the square, uh, the first thing we want to do is make sure we understand at least, you know, how, what are the steps for completing the square. So to do that, we first want to know what does everything mean in standard form, okay? And you have A, B, and C. So the first thing we want to do, and what does it look like to vertex form? Vertex form looks like this, A times X minus H squared plus K. All right, so we need to somehow find these H's and K's and then have a binomial squared. So to produce a binomial squared, we need to produce a perfect square. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to take B divided by 2 and square it. Now, actually, I skipped a step. Before we do that, we got to make sure our, um, our quadratic term only has a coefficient of 1. If it does not, then we'd have to factor it out. But in this case, we have 1 as our coefficient. So now I can simply take 4 divided by 2 and square it. Well, 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 squared is equal to 4. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert that into the equation on the left side on the right side. I don't know why I said left. So y equals x squared plus 4x plus my new term 4 plus 10. Now, as far as on an equation, uh, you know, in equations we always like to balance, right? One side is equal to the other side. So if I add 4 on the right side, because I added 4 there, to make this equation still true, I still have to subtract a negative 4. And I'm going to keep it on the same side unlike when we solve by quadratic, um, by completing the square, because I want to produce an equation. So I don't want anything else on the side with the y. You can still add it, though, and then put it back at the end if you'd like to. All right. So by adding that, what I have, by dividing my 2 and squaring it, adding on both sides, what I have now done is I have created a perfect square trinomial. A perfect square trinomial is, um, can be factored down to a binomial squared, meaning a binomial multiplied by itself. So now I need to say, all right, well, how can I factor x squared plus 4x plus 4? So if you factor that, what you'll notice is the two factors are y equals x plus 2 squared. Then I can combine these two. 10 minus 6 is positive 6. OK, cool. So now that I have this um, in my vertex form, I need to again remember what all my transformations are. So here, well, you know, you need to really write transformations. Just know your vertex. And then remember a. Uh, a if it affects it, you know, but we don't have an A, so we're not going to worry about it. If A is 1, then we know our graph is going to open up. So here, we can determine that my vertex is at negative 2, 6. So now to graph this, all I'm going to do is go over 2, up 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Since I do not have an A, I, or since my A is not affecting my graph at all, I know it's going to be the same as the standard um, the relationship from the next two points from its vertex are going to be just like the parent graph. So I'm going to go over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1, and then over 2, up 2, and then over 2, up 2. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Now you can see my graph. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you rewrite an equation in vertex form to be able to graph it. Thanks.